LeBron James on the call, ladies and gentlemen. My guy over here is one shot away. Drew with the bucket. This whole region is, it's your home. It's, it will always be your home. Mm -hmm. From a professional standpoint, though, we just want to get you on record about the contract. You going to stay? I mean, I know you got options. Right. And well, definitely. I, I think um, I'm excited about the upcoming season, I'll tell you that. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, and, and uh, I've never given any indication of me leaving um, Cleveland. I've been happy and, and with the franchise I've done for me, and my family has been great. Um, I did sign a contract in 2006 to keep my options open. Um, so, um, you know, like I said, you know, I wouldn't have did that if I was going to sign an extension or anything like that. So I'm looking forward to this season and hopefully everything goes right and, and um, hopefully I can um, sign a big contract to stay in Cleveland. Could we see you sign a smaller contract to stay in Cleveland? Maybe a... That's possible. We'll see. I'm, I'm so excited about Shaq. Um, you know, just something I haven't had in my NBA career is a dominant force in the paint. A guy that I can go to four or five, six possessions in a row, and I know he's going to get us something good, either free throws or he's going to get us an easy layup. Yeah, I mean, he's top five you know, greatest basketball players I've ever played, um, especially big man. So he's the most dominant force to ever play the game of basketball. And um, to have him on my same team, I'm, I'm, I'm humbled. I mean, this guy I watched growing up. This guy I watched while I was in the NBA, and this guy I'm going to continue to watch on a day-to-day -day basis now and being a teammate. I definitely love the experience in, in 2008. I mean, to bring back the gold medal and to be part of that team. Um, I mean, being a leader of that team, I would love to um, to be part of that team in, uh, in London. That would be, I mean, be great. It's humbling to know that not only are you recognizing your hometown or your home state, you're recognizing other countries. Um, you know, you go to China and you go to Europe and things like that. And I mean, I mean, I can only, I couldn't have never imagined that. Uh, that's something I never dreamed about as a kid, being recognized somewhere else. Uh, you know, and, and to be able to be one of those icons, those global icons, or seen as one of those global icons, I think um, you know, it's humbling, and I, and I don't take it for granted. I, I never take it for granted. Last season, to put it on record, was not a disappointment. Um, I mean, our record speaks for itself. We had a great run at it. Um, you know, fell short. The, the series itself, Orlando, maybe been a disappointment, but the season, there's no way you can say the season was a disappointment. We've done some things that the franchise and the NBA has never seen before. Um, so, you know, I had a lot of fun with that. I'm looking forward to this season. You know, I, I can't compare last season to this upcoming season because I take one season at a time. Um, but I'm looking forward to us to be a better team. And not only did we pick up Shaq, we picked up Leon Poe from the Boston Celtics. We picked up Anthony Parker from Toronto. We picked up Jamario Moon. Um, from Miami, so um, I think it's um, it's going to be a really, really good um, ride for us this year. And I think everybody's on board.